We're out here riding. We're about to ride. It's my buddy Frank. He's gonna ride uh, the Dead Swede with me and a couple other friends in June. So we're out here doing some training. It's Red Mountain open space. But it is, as you can tell, pretty windy today. So we'll see how much we do. <laughs> we might not ride at all. into this headwind. Hope the wind stays in this direction for the way back. It'll just be tailwind push us back. We are just doing an out and back ride, so hopefully it stays this way. Well, that did not go as planned. Uh, Frank and I had set out to ride about 36 to 40 miles, which is roughly the length of the Dead Swede in Wyoming. But yeah, the wind changed those plans right from the get-go. It was kind of nice when we were going uphill on a tailwind. It felt like you weren't pedaling at all going uphill. But on the flip side, you would be going downhill in a headwind and you'd be on like your max gear, pushing the pedals really hard and barely going anywhere. So yeah, not the ideal ride. Obviously didn't make the ideal video because I was just trying to get through the ride as it was. So we'll get, we'll get that video next time, Frank. Today's my first day back commuting. I was injured, doing some gardening stuff, moving dirt tweaked muscle or something in my back and the doctor just advised me to stay off the bike for my commutes and yeah I've been doing a lot of stretches I don't like doing stretches but I totally feel the benefit of them so I've been trying to do them twice a day at least once a day if I uh, can't do twice a day but at least once a day and doing some medications which I'm not a big fan of but we seem to be helping. So yeah, time to get back on the bike and ride to work and see how it feels. Oh man, even just being away from the bike commutes for a week, a little over a week, I've missed it so much. I mean, being in a car all the time is just not fun. Especially when you have to deal with morning and afternoon traffic. I have this trail that gets me to work. It's basically half my commute to work on this trail. 
don't have to deal with any traffic. <laughs> commuting my bike. <laughs> so, so thinking about my back injury and just my general health has been a big thing for me since having a kid. Nothing to really get you think about your health like having a kid. You know, I don't just want to be there for Canyon. I want to be there and healthy for him. So the last year of my life has just been dedicated to doing as much research on life longevity and health as I can. Which is funny enough because now that I've had Canyon, this is the year that I've gotten the sick the most out of all the years I've been teaching. Usually as a teacher, I get sick about once a year. But I think with Canyon, I've been sick three, if not four times this year. So they do say that kids, well, they get you sick. Oh, quick update. Quick update on this. It's still the same. Nothing has changed. There's a few more pieces of trash around here, but yeah. We'll see what this turns into. So when I was young, I thought, uh, as any other young person does that they're invincible and that you don't have to sleep and you don't have to take care of your health to be healthy and fit but obviously that's changed and my appreciation of health especially after having Canyon has grown a lot howdy so I've been diving into podcasts like uh, David Sinclair and reading a book by Matthew Walker talking about sleep just longevity Oh, I got a green. And really just diving into it. That's why some of you noticed I've started wearing a whoop. I always thought whoop was like a, just a fitness tracker for athletes and elite athletes. Hi. So I looked more into Whoop and discovered that it is way, way beyond a fitness tracker. It's not just to track miles or even steps. It doesn't even track steps or miles, but it's more of a health monitor. I use it as a health monitor because again, appreciating my health more. I'm gonna turn 30 this year and would really like to feel healthy. I am generally healthy and I have healthy habits like riding a bike. All of you who ride a bike, it's a great habit. Promotes longevity. But the Whoop does show me when I make mistakes like maybe have a beer that I probably shouldn't have had. 
Uh, nothing wrong with drinking, but it really gives me a metric for the glasses of beer I've had, I guess. So what I'm getting at is I'm trying to do things or as many things as I can to get me healthier. And this year I've been battling with doing those, but also getting sick more often because of Canyon, which makes no sense. It's a constant battle of trying to manage my health and then fitness, especially when it comes to gravel events, things like that. Been working towards them and then I get sick and can't ride or back injury, can't ride. And I don't want this to sound like an ad for Whoop because it's not. They didn't even send this to me for review. I'm paying for it and everything myself. Hey, boy, there's a lot more commuters out here now that the weather's turning. Awesome to see. Some of the big things that I've been focusing on is sleep. Man, I had some horrible sleep habits as a young adult. Now prioritizing sleep and going to bed at a consistent time, waking up at a, at a consistent time. Howdy. Hi. That has helped me quite a bit. Even just in the last two weeks of having Whoop, shown me sort of the benefits of that. Hey. Anyway, I feel like I'm ranting now. So sorry if I am. What do you guys do for health? I feel relatively healthy, but I know there's always things that can improve. What do you guys do? What do you focus on to stay healthy? Do you take things like vitamin D every single day? Try and get good sleep and do some intermittent fasting through the week. So Monday through Friday, usually try to do an IF and yeah what do you guys do let me know in the comments let other people know create a healthier community and so we can all be there for each other and for our families all right time to get home take care of the kiddo